Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Ice, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach, and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we got a situation here where this is a Nigerian woman who is popular for making skits, but she was apparently on a podcast doing an interview where she admitted to earning, quote unquote, her certificate or degree or what have you. And I want you guys to hear the sob story and the interview excerpt. Now, once you hear the interview, she's speaking half English, half her language. But there are captions to capture what she's saying. So here we go. To return my certificate within 48 hours. I want to ask. Is this right? That certificate, I earned it. I worked hard for it. Why should I return it? Eh? They sent me an email to return a certificate I, I worked so hard for. To return my... Actually, I got to for five years ago. Okay. I got to Okay, but our university, things were so hard for me. And um and one wrong option was on a boleba opolo and no gang on a street. Sometimes I didn't even time ega lectures because in the chap to two and also I will be very weak and very tired. I didn't even want the time ega lecture. Along the line, the more device kwa means in a cover kwa up on that side by you kwa 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 and the lecturers. And when the one particular year we no do my magra lecture, my name making my papers. All your courses? Yes, a making yeah. Other all means I had to do what I had to do to survive. So I slept with so many lecturers and uh, I came out with good grades. Did you call them Naidina with all your lecturers for you to pass your course? Actually, I go to my So apparently that was the clip of an interview that she was on. She was talking about it. And that clip went viral, and then the university that she earned a degree from wanted it back, supposedly. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because you hear tale of a lot of women who now some not this isn't for everybody, right? Because there are women who went to school and who actually did their courses and who actually did the schoolwork and actually earned whether it was a certificate, whether it was a degree, whether whatever it was, right? And then you hear about a lot of females that kind of screwed their way into it. And even if they didn't do anything with the lectures, what, what, what the stories that I've heard is the women would have the boys to do their work for them or, or to do the bulk of like um, essays, papers, projects, Things that carried a lot of weight with the grade, um, needing or soliciting help from the boys to do it, and using sex as a as a payment for that. So you know, I'll have sex with you or whatever, whatever. If you you know do at least some or a significant portion of my work for me, right? If you do the work for me, because maybe I'll understand the material or whatever the case may be, you know, so I can get a better grade so that I can actually earn the credits that I need in order to earn the degree that I need. So this is not actually uncommon. And I find it to be interesting because the mantra from so many women is their education level, their independence level, and really how they don't need no man to help them do nothing. But even in the come up stages, even in the come up stages, like the educational phase, um, they be needing men. They be needing men. And they actively go and get this help from the men to 
help them pass courses and things of that nature. And it's like, if you can't hack the academics, if you can't hack the curriculum, then take your L and move on or study harder or pay more attention in class or take better notes or attend uh, tutoring sessions or whatever it is that you have to do in order to ensure that you comprehend the work to the proper level enough to pass your courses. You know, if you stop being so preoccupied with all of this other stuff that's going on, you might be able to pay attention in lecture hall. Okay. Because college professors don't do a whole lot of repeating. It's not like grammar school. It's not even like high school. Once you get to the collegiate level and uh, the lecturers are um, going over the class material, you either listening or you're not. You're either um, writing notes properly or you aren't. You either getting the material or you're not. They're very limited on how much they're going to give you individual students assistance. They have TAs to assist them. So, you know, usually you go to the TA and you better hope you get along with them and um, or just pay more attention. Do you have to do study outside of class time? Like you have to go over the materials, you know, more than what the lecturer is going to go over, because like I said, they don't do a lot of repeating. They're going to go over it once, maybe twice if it's a difficult concept. And then they're going to move on because the curriculum has to be completed. Finals, midterms, things of that nature have to be done. And, and I, I, I have ran across posts and, and different conversations on social media where the women have admitted, yeah, you know, you know, I did X, Y, and Z because the boy in the class was smarter than me. And I couldn't afford to fail that particular class or not earn those credits. So, you know, I did what I had to do. And they don't see, the thing about it is they don't see any problem with that. A lot of women don't have a whole lot of integrity. So they don't see a problem with that. They still will tell people that they did everything on their own. And then we'll try to, depending on the level of degree that they earned, will try to uh, position themselves as smarter, more intelligent than other people, knowing full well that at the time you didn't really comprehend um, that material that well, right? You didn't really like, like it's one thing to get a little help. And then it's another thing to have people doing papers for you and all of the other, other type of stuff. Like that's, that's one is help. You know what I'm saying? One is like, okay, I didn't really get this concept. You seem to have gotten it. Cause you like break it down for me. So I can, the, one is help. And then the other is just do it for me. Just, just do it for me. And that's what I'm talking about. Just do it for me. And in this lady's case, to go ahead and have sex with the actual professor and say, you know what, this is how I'm going to get these grades up because I'm, I'm not going to be able or willing to attend the actual class for whatever reason. I think that what I got going on in my personal life, the struggles that I got going on in my personal life outside of school is more important or more pressing. And I'm not able to just take the fact that I can't attend school right now. I've got to do this. And then her talking about she worked hard for it. You know, I must have died when I heard her say that. Like, we know you worked hard for it. You just didn't work in the way that the university wanted you to work. And then here's the other thing right before I go. Y'all going to get enough of saying everything online. I don't know why y'all don't think online is public. Why don't y'all think that this is public information? When y'all post things, when you put things on the internet, you realize that these like these entities search your social media footprint. They search your internet footprint. They search this stuff. Don't let nothing that you got going on go viral and it and it's and it and it doesn't reflect well on you. Y'all gonna get enough 
uh, getting on these podcasts and getting on these, you know, whether you uploading it yourself or you went somewhere else and they uploaded it, y'all going to get enough of telling the intricate parts of y'all life and then not liking the consequences that occur after you do that. So if in, if indeed the university contacted her and said, oh, so you didn't earn those credits honestly like the other students or whatever, or at least the other students didn't admit to not earning their credits properly, uh, we're going to have to have you to uh, run, that, run that certificate back to us, right? Like you got to be prepared for consequences. When you go online and when you post things, like you got to be prepared that people are going to have um, opinions about it. They may not be flattering. And if you post something that has damning information and it gets back to an entity, an organization or a school or a job or whomever that's got the power to affect your real life in real time negatively. You got to be careful what you say. Some stuff don't need to be shared. Some stuff don't need to be on the internet. It just don't. Because you open yourself up to consequences, judgment, judgment being probably the least of it. There are people who have gotten fired, plenty of people that have gotten let go, not only from Lupiniani jobs, but from decent and high paying positions because of the things that they wanted to post online. So y'all, I, I don't know when y'all going to get enough of that. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, drop that by you guys. Listen, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure. And this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.